Hello! Uh, welcome back. So, it has been quite a while since I filmed for YouTube, and I apologize for that. My mental health has not been great. Um, I've been dealing with some family things, some interpersonal things, some relationship things, and I just haven't had the mental fortitude to film for you guys, but I recently got accepted into a craft fair, a local craft fair, and that is coming up on November 10th and 11th, um, or 11th and 12th. I know the 11th, um, <laughs> but unless a date is right in front of me, I'm going to forget it. Um, that being said, though, I recently got some new stuff, and I wanted to show you guys what it is. Um, so let's just dive in. Now, I'm going to go through this bag of mostly Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree things first. The reason that I ended up buying things from either place is because those are what's available to me in the town that I live. So locally, we only have one actual craft store, and that is Hobby Lobby. It's unfortunate. I don't like giving them my money. I don't like supporting them if I don't have to. But sometimes, in order to get cheaper things, I have to go there. Um, so, let's see what I grabbed. Um, this is the haul. So I grabbed these felt sheets. These were on sale for like 24 cents a piece, but they're little buggies. And I'm going to cut these out and turn them into jewelry, um, like necklaces and or uh, earrings. Really excited about that. I also got these little butterfly charms. They're wooden, but like they have little painted butterflies on them. I don't know how well you can see. Those are super cute. I should mention also, everything I got from uh, Hobby Lobby was super reduced because, again, I don't like spending money there if I don't have to, so I spend as little as possible when I do. Um, this was also 69 cents, and it's a little stamp. This is just for me. Like, I didn't really need that for anything, but I thought it would be really cute. Um, also, I recently got into making little, like, cat ear beanies, and these are little bells that I'm going to attach to the ears of them and put, like, some strings on or whatever. I'm also thinking about making collars or chokers, just because I think they're really cute. Um, in addition to those ones, I also got these bells. They look like, um, cow bells. <laughs> Give me more cowbell. Um, but also, they kind of remind me of, like, fishing tackle. So, yeah. Those are really cute. Um, and then these are little, like, holographic or iridescent. I think iridescent is the right term. Um, unicorn charms. And they're super cute. I love these. Uh, most of this stuff is to add to things that I already have um, made or to put on things that I will be making or to turn into jewelry. Um, with the exception of these, these I actually got at the Dollar Tree um, because I need more of these to make more scrunchies. Because um, scrunchies are really simple, they're really easy, and I know that I can sell them. So, yeah. I also got, you know, earrings. It's just like a little bag of the little earrings. What are they called? I don't know. I thought that they had like a specific name. Uh, but basically just what you put through your ear. And then a little metal piece on top of that. Um, these I got for myself because they were really, really cheap. Yeah, what are they? 74 cents. And I got two packs of these because they're little suspender clips. And I have a pair of suspenders that I would really like to make in the future. Um, so I got those preemptively. And then I also found these little do-it-yourself paint mushrooms. They're super cute. I got like three or four of them. And that is, I believe, all I grabbed from Hobby Lobby slash Dollar Tree. Oh, nope, I was wrong. I also grabbed these. I knew I was forgetting at least one thing. 
Um, so I grabbed these little pendant bottles with the corkscrews. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill them with little, like, yarn bits and scraps and whatnot. And probably some of those, like, unicorn things. Um, like the little charms. And then seal them and turn those also into jewelry. So that is that bag. Yeah, like, everything that I bought was either 50% off, 40% off, or already reduced with the little red tags on them. Or orange tags. It's like an orangish red. Um, and then I also got poster board so I can make some signage and some tags. Um, but I'm not going to show that because it's just lime green poster board. It's, it's not super fancy. And then these are the things that I ordered online, which I have not opened yet. I know what I ordered, but like I haven't opened them yet. Because I wanted to wait until I could film. And now I can film. So, let's see what I grabbed from Pershners. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. So, they have this new um, <laughs> uh, worsted weight yarn. But it's in the, like, Celebrate line. And this one is, I think, called Halloween. Yeah. So this is the color name. It's Halloween. So it goes from orange to white to green to black to red. Or not red. Uh, purple. Yeah. I love this. Um, it's super, super cute. And I have wanted to grab it for like about two months now. So grab those. And then I also grabbed two of these. So this is um, something I haven't used before. What's the colorway on this? I can't remember. I believe these are also worsted weight. Oh, that's just a color 42139 from Libra Lima. Lima colors. I can't talk. Um, but it's like grays and blues, and I thought that it would be really cute to make some like wintertime hats with these. Um, so I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> And then I have two other packages. Both of them are from Michaels. Because I really like shopping at Michaels. Um, I've never been able to go in person because, again, we don't have one locally. And, like, I never get to travel. Um, so, yeah. But when I ordered, I got these. So these are the ice cream from Lion Brand thing. I think these are a three weight. Yeah, these are a DK weight. But like, they're so cute and it screamed like fall turning into winter vibes to me with this colorway, which is called Tiger Tail. It's super, super pretty. Um, so I grabbed three balls of that, which was like a relatively good deal considering it was like 18 bucks for all three. And most of those were more expensive. <laughs> Um, oof. now this one I'm super excited for. I have been wanting to grab one of these items for literally like two years now, and I haven't done it because I haven't had the funds. So when I saved up for Zonta Fair, I told myself I would get one, and I did. So, whoop, get out of here. Come on now. I need to pull this out. Thank you. And then I can open it. Good job, Paige. <laughs> mm, I'm so excited. Okay, so. These are also like autumn, wintery type hats. I'm going to make these into beanies and maybe a matching pair of gloves, like fingerless gloves or like hand warmers, whatever you want to call them, because I think they're really cute. But the star of the show, of literally all of this, the thing that I have wanted for, for flipping ever is this. I have needed a yarn winder 
for so long and now I finally have one and I'm so excited because it means I can take all of the scraps that are over on my little working area station and I can put them into one ball and then use them for whatever because I love making scrap projects. I hate weaving in ends. I hate it. I hate it. It's the bane of my existence. I don't know if any other crocheter feels like this, but I do and I'm not a fan. Um, I don't like it. So, uh, this will help negate some of that because I can just tie the strings together. Um, this will be much easier on my wrist. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I do have a scar along my wrist because I still have three screws holding my wrist in place. Um, from about 12 years ago now? Yeah. So, I broke my wrist. And I broke two of my fingers, I cracked my elbow, and I dislocated my shoulder all in one accident. It was a whole kerfuffle. And now that I'm healed, uh, I still get pains. But, like, only if I overwork things. And one of the things that really hurts my wrist is, like, going in the line around my hand or around whatever to try and wind my yarn. So now it will be less invasive, less intensive for me. Um, and I'm really stoked about it. So yeah, that is the haul video. Um, I did want to kind of, I don't know, not really give an apology because I don't, I don't see myself being as consistent with YouTube as I do with platforms like TikTok. And the reason for that is because with TikTok, I feel more free to talk about whatever. And I know that I can do that on YouTube, and I think that that's kind of going to be where I branch out, is officially making this video for all my stuff, because I don't feel the need to box myself in to one category or one, uh, one topic, really. Like, I love crochet. I definitely want to be a part of the crochet community on YouTube. I love you guys, uh, but I don't see myself being as authentic if I'm only sticking to crochet here because I'm very multifaceted. I'm a very multifaceted person. Um, so yeah, uh, I definitely want to start talking to you guys about like poetry, tarot, uh, <laughs> the interest in painting, etc. Like different kinds of crafts, different kinds of areas of interest for me, um, and different things that I struggle with, honestly. Like my mental health takes a toll on me frequently, and I feel like it's really important to talk about, not just on one platform or another, but shared space, man. <laughs> um, if you want to support me, the easiest way you can do that is by clicking like, share, or comment on this video and subscribing. Um, I know that that's kind of like a run-of-the-mill thing to say, uh, but it would, it would make me feel good to be able to interact with you guys more. So please comment if you enjoyed this or if you want to see more from me. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!